Welcome to Leo for Leos. This is a channel featuring intuitive tarot readings for the astrological sign of Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm a Leo as well, so this is why the channel is called Leo for Leos. Cross watchers and fellow readers are welcome. However, I do want to give you a heads up that I read the cards as I see them and not always the way it's traditionally done. So let's get started. Today we're going to be using the Smith Waite Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition. This is my favorite deck. There's a link for this particular deck in the description if you want to get one yourself. So, um, we are going to read for the month of June 2021. The month of June for the year 2021. Let's do it. And just uh, wanted to let you know I have a new setup here because things are changing wildly in my life. And uh, I, I, hope you'll, I hope this is much better. Let me know in the comments if it looks okay. Uh, all right, let's see what's happening here. June for Leos. June Leos. June Leos. My wonderful Leo people out there. How is June treating you? And what are some things that Leos need to be looking out for? June 2021. Oh. Already have something. Judgment. Okay. June 2021. Yeah, this setup is a little awkward for me, but I hope you will bear with me as I struggle. <laughs> All right. June. Let's keep it. Okay. June 2021. June 2021. Ha ha, money. Ooh. Yes, I like that already. Leos, come on. Leos, 2021. Ooh. Um, we are going to choose these two. They wanted to come out. They wanted to talk to me. Okay, the rest of them we're going to pick uh, randomly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just upside down. Hmm. Okay, I'll read it upside down. I don't really like reading upside down cards. Oh, another upside down card. Uh, do, is it that I have the whole deck upside down? Oh, I don't really like reading reverse cards, to be honest, but we'll do it. We'll do it! <laughs> All right, here we go. I think we found the perfect positioning. Okay, so first we have the judgment, which is um, what I'm sensing here is that this may be um, really looking at your situation and making a judgment like, okay, we've come so far, how are we doing? Um, it's almost like an assessment, but it's more than a, 
it's more than an assessment. It's like, this is how I feel about that period point blank. It's kind of a harsh one too. And it has to do with money. Um, as you see in the money card right next to it. This is very career oriented um, right away. And I, I, I said that I like that because I know that there's a lot of uh, Leos that are very career oriented. And a lot of Leos too are not. They're just interested in like relationships and so on. So let's get a little bit deeper to find out exactly what this will be talking about. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Something that's very, very emotional. Uh, that's okay we're gonna have to go down a little spiral here because I need a I need the full story for my Leos I need the full story for my Leos oh That's where, that's the main one. Bingo. All right, let's look at this much better now. Okay. So the ultimate result is this. This is what Leos want. Independence, to be the man or woman about themselves, about town, the person in control of their own destiny, of their own paradise. Um, this is this is the goal or, or the dream. Okay. And there's a conflict happening, a rebirth. See these two guys, they're similar, right? So it looks like an offer is coming in that brings upon the ending of something which causes conflict. I'm feeling like this is a person. Feeling like this is a person and not um, a, like a sensitive person uh, that has quite a bit of power or you see them in a position of power. Um, and they may have the upper hand at the moment. They may have the upper hand at the moment because of nostalgic reasons. Perhaps, um, oof, sorry, destroyed everything. There, there we go. Um, this person, there may be a nostalgic connection to this person that's creating this this hierarchy and this like feeling like they have all the victory but something happens where um, there's a there's an offer that leads to kind of a rephrase framing of ideas or thought per perspective that leads to conflict And, but this is the goal, like independence from this individual or situation that is, is basically the reason why it's holding on is because of the nostalgia, because of the history together. Like, oh, we've been together for 20 years, or oh, we've been friends for 50 years. You know, it's just, it's something old that really has been you know, needs to be looked at in a different way. It's not that you have to get rid of it, but it has to be, like, if you look, these two cards are the same, right? But they're different, but they're, it's like seeing this guy suddenly in this perspective, right? Seeing things in a different perspective. 
Okay, I think I've explained that enough. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that. Oh. Then we have this card. The money card. And that is kind of good. I mean, it looks like a, an offer or something has to do with, with money. Okay. I hate to see this, but there could be some heartbreak involved because you may have, and it doesn't look like it's bad heartbreak. It just looks, it's, it's just like, oh, wah, wah. It's like, <laughs> it's like a soft heartbreak, you know? It, it's not one that's, look, this is the card that's next. It's not a it's not a heartbreak that's that's terrible. It's just like maybe having a job um, that you didn't really want, and then suddenly like having to do all the work and meet all the people, and then like give them your tw your two week notice because something's happened to increase your hopes up and give you that sense that hey maybe I need to take the next step uh, in my evolution there's hope there's some sort of hope that opens up and it's it's for selfish you know it's it's not selfish reasons it's more like you're doing this because it's better for you in the long run. It's better for you in the long run. Um, and it may not be, you know, may have been the nicest thing or the best thing for the company you're working with or, you know, your coworkers or everybody else, but this is something, this is an opportunity that you have to take. This is for some, Leo, this is not for everyone. This is not for everyone. Some Leos are going through that. Well, whatever it is, it has to be done quickly. The opportunity is not going to wait for you. It has to be done quick. Like, you have to make up your decision. You have to make a decision quickly. You have to act quickly. That's it. It has to be done quickly. Now, the next card is the King of Swords, which I always associate. There's so many different ways I associate the King of Swords. Sometimes it represents the internet, sometimes it rep represents social media image, sometimes it's branding, sometimes it's legal, um, like lawyers. And I'm going to have to go and dig a little deeper to find out about this. Um, this may be just saying that whatever you're doing, to make sure that it's legally in the right place. Um, that you're doing things legally correctly. Let's go a little further into this. Partnership with someone. It's a spiral, guys. We got another spiral. So I'm going to keep going down the spiral. This is all in service of building the legacy. All in service of building the legacy. So, this is passion. Okay? This could be a person. 
Oh, wow. Wow, that changes everything. This could be a person. Yeah. Because we do have the lover's card here. So this could be a this could be a person. Wow. Yeah, that could be a person. Uh, the characteristics of this person is like basically they are good looking, very good looking, meticulous, um, uh, the first sign that comes to mind is Virgo. Um, they are about the details. They're about doing things legally. He's on the up and up. Um, definitely like uh, somebody who knows a lot about the law. Possibly being a lawyer as a, or something or a police officer. Somebody who is in connection with the law. Could even be an accountant, because accountants really have to know the law and how to uh, deal with it. He likes details, this person. Um, and I'm saying he, uh, it, it could be a female with a very strong energy um, that's kind of gender neutral. So it, he could be he or she. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm getting this. When these two cards are together, it's always about um, sexual chemistry. Something is going on there. <laughs> it's always about sexual chemistry. Okay. But with this person, um, we're not dashing forward. It's more like hermit mode, like being quiet about it, not saying anything about it. So some Leos have been bitten before and now twice shy. They're like, hmm, maybe not. But this is very interesting. These three cards together is what is just making me like really giggle right now. It's almost like a school boy or girl reaction to like, should I talk to them or shouldn't I talk to them? Should I just hang out or what? I'll just, I'll just hang out by this water cooler or whatever and, and see if they notice me. That's what this is. This is like shy but not really going after it or like hanging out in the same place where that person is, not knowing what's going to happen. And like when I say legacy, there's a family there. There's an old man with his, we're assuming this is his family and his home, like building a family nucleus. So this is somebody that Leo's maybe looking at that could, um, that they're thinking about a possible, building a possible life together with. Which is very interesting because um, I'm sure there's a lot of us out there that are just like, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> So here we go. Here I have building a foundation for something. Okay. Because um, see, in the beginning I thought it was going to be all about career. It, this is really throwing me for a loop that it's about money too. That maybe this person can help in the avenue of finances. Um, not, not in a, you know, as far as giving advice or something to that effect. Like, like I was saying, this person could be an accountant or somebody who's really smart about the law. So, I mean, there you have it. That's that. But now we're going to go on to the, um, the Four of Wands, which is starting a, building a foundation. 
Let's see what the cards reveal about that. Okay. Juggling. Juggling jobs. Right? Remember we were talking about that before? Juggling jobs. Ultimately wanting to be nurturing to the things and the assets that you have to grow. So the universe is saying be strong and hang in there. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Okay, so this is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is kind of a surprising one because it can be good or it could be bad. So let me, based on, let me get a card that tells me a little if what it is. Oh, okay. This is, this is kind of, I, I wouldn't say, hmm. this is a setback, I would call it. Or news, whether true or not, sounds like you're going to be waiting a little bit longer before you get to the place where you want to be financially. Okay? Like, it's, it's, a, it's news that makes you go, like, when is my ships going to come in, for God's sake? <laughs> it's like, okay, how much longer? Yeah. And, and we know this story. We know this story. Now, I'm going to move on to this because this is talking about a direct reference to this. When it all cost. At this point, you're like, yeah, that's fine. I've waited and I've waited. Now I'm willing to do the things that I've never done before to get ahead. It doesn't mean that they're bad or good. It just means that you've come to the point where it's like, this is, you know, that's fine. Let's, let's, you, you're ready to keep going on too. You're, you're not in a, in a bad place with this. Okay. So, we have this, which is um, this could be bad news, or this could be um, bad news is the typical one, but it also is a cause a cause for pause. <laughs> Like, something you have to, like, look at and, like, think about, like, like, really? Let's see if we got anything else. <gasps> Manifesting. So, whatever you hear is going to put you in action mode. Whatever, this is actually good. This is going to put you in action mode. Okay. information okay you're going to be getting information so whatever is is whatever news you get in June is going to put you in action mode to get information and let's see one more card hopefully and figure out what to do yep figure out what to do so you're going to be, from the news that you get, even though it's not the best news, it's, it's something that's going to inform you to make a better plan for your future. I, I, I do like that. So, you know, these things, they come in waves. Like you think, oh, it's bad. This is bad news. But it's like, no, 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 no. We're going to stay up all night long and we're going to figure out how to get this done. We know that there's a way. We've seen it in our mind's eye. We know that it's possible. Let's get it done. You know? So that's that's what this is about. 
Uh, it's putting you in action to make a better plan. If you are watching this and it's not quite June yet, you have the upper hand. That means that you can re look at everything, everything um, that you've got going on and just play out the, the scenarios in your mind. Like, are these foolproof? Do I need to do anything to protect myself? Do I need, what do I need to do to make this work? And you could be ahead of this. So that's what the, the purpose of all of this kind of uh, asking about the future is all about is to kind of preempt all this stuff. The best scenario that can come out of this is by seeing this video that in June you don't experience a surprise you know announcement you're like oh yeah I knew about that already we already did the research <laughs> so I, I love this is why I love doing this it kind of gives you a heads up of what's going to happen and you're I mean life will always have its surprises but it's kind of nice to have a little heads up uh, ahead of time that's what they're all about so we have this wonderful card of healing. So all of this um, really leads to a month of healing for you. And let's get a little bit more information about the kind of healing you're going to be doing. Oh, we like this. A little celebrating. justice okay I'm gonna stop right there I'm gonna stop right there because that just gave me chills that just gave me chills so something oh wow this could be news of also something that may be not like totally pleasant news but it's almost like now the book is closed right um, this is just intriguing me. I love it. Um, Leos deserve celebration, healing, celebration, and justice. Yes. Yes. Please, on a platter. <laughs> I love it. Leos, you know... This is, I was getting worried there that things were going to look a little too um, bleak for Leo's, but it turned around really nicely. Thank you so very much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so for Leo Intuitive Tarot Readings. Be sure to hit the bell icon to be the very first to know when my next video gets posted. Many blessings to you, my awesome Leo! And remember, this channel is for you and you alone.